Hey guys, so this is a YouTube explanation of our next major assessment. Uh, this is going to be your next timed right. It's going to be due on February 7, 2019. And so I just want to show you a little bit about where this is, some example documents, and uh, guide you through the process of completing this assignment. So right now, I'm in 10th literature and composition, third period. If you didn't see how I got there, I went to Schoology.com. I clicked on 10th lit comp, third period. I scrolled down to Unit 3, Lord of the Flies, which I know that we're in because it says it starts on January 21st, 2019, and there's no end date yet. So I'm going to click into that. I know that we're in week four because it says that it starts at January 28th, 2019, and it ends on February 1st, 2019, and that is currently, we're in the middle of those two days. Uh, so I know that that's what week we're in. I'm going to click there. This is the short story choice time to write directions. This is the sample essay outline, and this is the sample narrative outline. I'm going to go over all of these items. <clears throat> Our short story choice timed right, I'm just going to pop that out of the frame so that we can view it a little bit better. All right, so we can see here that we have two choices. This is written choice one. Okay, these are the directions for written assignment choice one. This is written assignment choice two. These are the directions for written assignment choice two. I'm going to go over uh, choice one first. Choice one is a time mini literary terms essay. This essay is going to be four paragraphs long. The prompt is to choose one literary term and discuss how and why this literary term is used in both short stories which we have read as a class. These short stories, in case you've forgotten, are The Lottery and The Man in the Well. Also, I had some students ask me if they could use two literary terms and talk about one literary term in the lottery and one literary term in the men in the well. That's totally fine with me, so I'm also going to put that on here as well. All right. So the directions for this talk about creating an outline with a thesis, which names one literary term, which is used in both short stories. Once again, if you'd like to use um, if you'd like to use two literary terms, that's fine with me. Um, you might just want to talk to me about it first and make sure that you understand. It makes the essay a little bit more difficult uh, for some students, so you just want to make sure that you know what you're doing with those two. Uh, so your outline is going to look exactly like the outline that's provided here in week four. This is the sample essay outline. All right, so in the sample essay outline, we see that you have an introduction, a first body paragraph, and a second body paragraph, and a conclusion. Um, these are all used, um, these are all created using the numbered lists feature in either Google Docs or Microsoft Word. They both have that. I like the Roman numerals. You might choose to do something else. There are lots of different options here for you to choose from. So first, you're going to have your title of your essay. You might title it Timed Right. That doesn't matter to me. Um, then you're going to write introduction. Make sure that you write your thesis down. It should be one sentence. Okay, so you're going to write your thesis here. It'll be one sentence long. It should include two, one literary term, or two, if you're deciding to do two. All right, and how they are used in both short stories that we're uh, talking about and discussing here. A possible sentence stem for this thesis, if you uh, would like one of those, might be something like, um, in both the lottery and the man in the well, the literary term, and then you would write out the literary term of device, is used in order to do blank and blank. And of course, you would fill in those blanks with how they were used in the short stories that you're talking about. Um, in the first body paragraph, your claim is going to have a literary term of device. A sentence starter for that might be in title of the short story. The literary device uh, is used when blank, or you might even choose because or in order to. And then you want to have um, evidence from the lottery and evidence from the man in the well. You can see in both of these paragraphs that you're going to have two quotes. Um, so whether you choose to do your paragraph having... Um, 
you know, you, you choose to organize it with having the lottery in your first bar- paragraph or the man in the well in your second body paragraph. Either one of those is fine with me, but you're going to have two pieces of evidence from the lottery and two pieces of evidence from the man in the well. So two quotes per short story per paragraph. Um, doesn't matter how you organize it. If you organize it um, differently, like I am here, um, as long as it makes sense and you have those required portions and you're talking about the short stories that we've been reading, I think you should be okay there. And then for your conclusion, you can just write conclusion. Okay. So back to the direction. So you'll create an outline. That's what I just showed you. Um, you'll create the two claims. You'll find the four pieces of evidence, two from each short story. And I'm just going to bold really quickly uh, four pieces of evidence here. And then you'll have the two claims as well. Then you'll write a rough draft. Now we're going to be doing that in class. Um, this outline or this lesson plan can be found in Schoology.com in general information. And you can see that on our class calendar. And you can see uh, exactly how we're going to be completing this work in class. All right, so no, we don't want that one. Okay, so as I was saying, uh, our class calendar can be found in the general information tab under links to class calendar um, or plan book for lesson plans. Um, and you can see how this is going to play out and how you're going to be completing um, each of the required portions of this assignment in class. You're also free to complete portions of the assignment after class as well or as homework. All right. So you can see here we are in January. Um, I'm assigning the major today. Today's day is January 30th, 2019. Your, we'll pick a prompt and then your homework will be uh, to finish the outline uh, for both prompts. Uh, tomorrow we're going to make sure that you have body number one due if you're doing an analytical essay or if you're doing a narrative, you're still going to have paragraph number one due. Uh, paragraph twos will be due on Friday, February 1st. Paragraphs three will be due on uh, Tuesday when we return to school on February 5th. Paragraphs four will be due on uh, Wednesday, February 6th. And then the entire timed write will be completed and will be due um, during class. You'll put it all together, all the parts, uh, on February 7th, 2019. Okay. All right, so you'll have your rough draft. You'll do that. Um, you'll revise and edit your final draft in class as a timed essay. Remember that the requirements for this are four paragraphs, one introduction, two body, one for each short story, and one conclusion. Uh, the essay rubric that is linked here is the same one that we always use for all of our essays. If you'd like to take a closer look at that, though, please feel free to do that by copying and pasting that link, and it'll pull it right up for you. Okay, writing assignment choice number two is a narrative. Uh, so remember, you're just picking one of these. You don't have to do both. If you're doing the narrative, you're going to be writing a new beginning or a new ending for one of the short stories we've read in class over the past two weeks. Um, so once again, those short stories being the lottery <coughs> or the man in the well. Um, using one of the literary terms that we've discussed in class, you will also rewrite the story. You could also rewrite the story from another character's perspective or a different point of view, but you must use a literary term or device in your rewrite. Okay. You will also create an outline for this. We can go right back and look at our outline for this assignment by going to unit three. Once again, clicking on week four and then clicking on sample narrative outline. Once that pulls up, you'll see that paragraph one, you'll just have a one sentence of what was going to happen in paragraph one. Paragraph two, a one sentence of what will happen in paragraph two. Paragraph three, um, you'll describe what will happen in one sentence. And then uh, you'll need some outline for your CEA paragraph there as well, which will state which literary term you're going to use in your rewrite and how will the literary term or device add to the story. Uh, for this portion of the assignment, you are going to be graded using the rubric below. 
So you're still going to have a pre-writing portion that will be worth 20 points. Style will be worth 40 points, and you can read those uh, indicators of success there. Organization will be 30 points, and your explanation or your CEA paragraph, and I'll just add that in there so that's very clear for you, uh, is going to be worth 30 points, okay, where you explain what you've done. Um, once again, you only need to choose one of these two options. You do not need to complete both. This is all going to be due on February 7th in class each day. and We are going to chunk it out by having you only complete one paragraph each day. If you have any questions, uh, please don't forget to look at my office hours on the board or send me an email um, at mclemorel1 at fultonschools.org or even ask me in class. Um, oh, and finally, remember that for your paragraphs that you guys did, which were like practice paragraphs, you could use these on this assignment. So if you want to do the narrative assignment, you could use your narrative paragraph on this assignment. Or if you wanted to do the CEA or the mini literary terms assignment, you could use that CEA paragraph that you've pre-prepared um, on this. So that makes everything a little bit um, easier for you. And you can look at your grades and see which way you want to go, which way you want to pursue. I will say that if you choose to do a mini literary terms essay here, a more analytical piece here, you're going to do a narrative uh, major assessment later on in the school year. Alternatively, if you choose to do a narrative here, you're going to do an analytical terms essay later on in the semester. Uh, so please keep all of that in mind. Uh, once again, please let me know if you have any questions at all. And I hope that this video has been helpful for you in completing this assignment. Thanks so much.